Hey, so someone gets to hear this today. I was a professional boxer at the age of 18, my senior year in high school, and I signed up for a fight and I lost my first fight and only fight. It was a fight that I was guaranteed to win. I was told I am stronger, I am faster, I am better than her, I am quick, everything. I was guaranteed to win that fight, but I still lost. I lost because I wasn't setting myself up for success, my foundations. I abused my body. I didn't actually understand how to win a fight because I didn't know at the time that the adrenaline in your body is so powerful that if you haven't set your body up for success, that you cannot control that adrenaline and it'll come in and take over. And that's what happened. I had a technical knockout in the second round. I My adrenaline came in and I blacked out. Totally fighting, functional, but not like actually there in the head. So why am I telling you this? This came in today for me in my meditation and I was like, wow, that is a lesson that I learned really young in my life that I get to remind myself every single day that I am the only one here on earth looking out for me, truly looking out for me. Yes, my husband looks out for me, but I am 100% responsible of taking care of me. And that means feeding myself, getting the right amount of sleep, drinking my water, and more importantly, connecting to my inner being, my soul, my God source every single morning, and connecting into that power source that provides me energy all day long. So what I learned back then was the reason why I lost is that I was starving myself. I starved myself for months because I signed a contract. I signed a contract to lose a little bit more than 15 pounds in like two months. I was 145 pounds. She refused to sign at that weight. She wanted me down at 130. That was the contract that the other girl was willing to sign. I signed it thinking, no problem. I can lose 15 pounds in two months. Not a problem at all. Big problem because I was a lot of muscle. So this meant starvation. This meant running in bags and sweating and not putting the water back in my system. This meant taking away the proteins that actually fuel my muscles. This meant all carbs that I needed for going to school and learning were gone. I ate pickles and mustard, pickles and mustard. And I thought in my mind, oh, that's what people do when they want to drop weight and lose weight is get skinny, is they starve themselves. And I didn't see that that was incorrect. And I didn't have anybody there taking care of me saying, hey, here's the best way to do this. I didn't have a mentor. My, my trainer, unfortunately, was not that. And why am I telling this? Well, I got to the fight and I was starving. I wasn't allowed to eat for 48 hours before I weighed in. I wasn't allowed to drink any water. I was actually spitting in a cup for 24 hours to become more dehydrated. And then the next morning you sign, you weigh in, and then you can eat and drink as much as you possibly want. But I had these like nerves to, because it was my first fight and all these nerves and jitters were coming through. It was hard to eat. It was hard to drink. My stomach was pissed at me because all of a sudden I'm putting all this food in and it wasn't settling well. So then I go to the fight expecting to win. So who out there like me expects to win in the day when I haven't taken my care of myself yet? Or I expect that I'm going to handle my kids' outbursts really well. Or my husband getting us upset. Or the dog's destroying something. How am I expected to take care of me, show up in my life in the best possible way, if I didn't take care of me? Does that make sense? If I don't drink my water in the morning. If I don't eat breakfast in the morning and it suddenly is 2 o'clock and I haven't eaten all day long. If I didn't get the sleep I needed. And more importantly, if I didn't connect in to my inner being, to my God source, if I didn't have the gratitude walk or connect in to my breath every day. So this is you. Let me know if you, of what you heard in this, what, what resonated for you. 
And I really, if you want to share this with somebody that is struggling every single day, who struggles with self-care, and more importantly, when they, if this was also me and me, is that when we have our breakdowns and then we go into self-sabotage and we start shaming ourselves, we start saying, God, we're a piece of shit. We didn't do it again. Look, I failed again. Like, God, why can't I be better? I suck. God, I suck. I'm disgusting. We start having these voices in our head telling us how much we suck at life. That's usually because we didn't take care of ourselves right up in the beginning. We didn't set ourselves up for success right in the morning, having compassion and grace with who we are. So if that's you, raise your hand, say me, let me know what resonates. Share this for someone who needs to hear it today. All right, thanks, bye.